We are back exposing a controversial autism treatment that uses stem cells from cord blood. Still with us is Dr. Doreen and Jack Price. So Jack, back to you. You also have issues with Duke's connection with cryocell. Uh, bottom line is that, that these stem cells are useful in a number of blood disorders. They are, they're used all the time. But there's no evidence that the broad range of, uh, of, of disorders that pe these companies are claiming that these cord blood cells can use for, there's virtually no evidence that that's true. Mm. So the number of disorders that they can be used for is very much more limited than these companies are claiming. Yeah. And autism most certainly is not one of the disorders for yeah. which there's any reliable evidence that they have any efficacy at all. Right. So, I mean, the, these patients, I mean, are being doubly, in my mind, doubly duped. Yeah, it's, it's a great point. You know, Doc, in med school, we used to call this the shotgun blast approach, right? We don't really know what's wrong, but we know this thing usually works for a lot of stuff. So why not try it? So let's try it. Now, Leslie, I'm very, very interested because you're really, really good at this part. What happened when you contacted Duke and CryoCell? I asked both of them a number of questions, uh -huh. hard questions. I really wanted to know how the treatment they are proposing to offer and what Duke is already offering is different uh -huh. than, let's say, any stem cell clinic offering yeah. unproven treatments. And uh, CryoCell responded by saying, in part, Unproven stem cell clinics seek to operate outside the scope of FDA oversight. Mm -hmm. We, on the contrary, will be transparent and operate under the scope of the FDA. So next up, I asked Duke, you know, people, why do they have to pay for these experimental right. treatments that are still being reviewed in clinical trials? Mm -hmm. And Duke responded by saying that they charge for participation in expanded access program it covers the cost of standard care required to screen and test the cord blood unit and the patient for eligibility, lab testing, administration, and follow-up. And finally, I think my favorite response that I received, which is so telling, uh -huh. is from Hyrocell. Mm -hmm. I basically asked them, I said, on their marketing materials, uh -huh. they say this will revolutionize treatment outcomes. And I called them out on that. Revolutionize. I said, what does that even mean? And especially to a parent who's desperate. Mm -hmm. If I hear revolutionize treatment right. outcomes, I want that treatment, yeah. right? And they responded by saying, we appreciate you pointing out this statement, which we also found to be confusing. It has been removed from our website. <laughs> Just one, one little wow. question and it's gone. Right. Gone. Right. Which is a good and thing, And that was right? a huge, huge marketing statement. Revolutionize. Revolutionize. Everything else you've tried right. so far, right. okay, it didn't work, but... This is going to change your life, right? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, well, great work, Leslie. Thank yeah. you so much. Jack, Jack liked that one, too. <laughs> He's laughing at it. <laughs> yep. yes. Wow. Well, this is so important. <laughs> Leslie, thank you for all the investigation that you did, Home Run. Yeah. And, thank you. and Home Jack, run. thank you for, for chiming in and your pleasure. expertise.